Hello, everybody. Mike Westfall here at McDonald Garden Center. Hope everybody's doing well. We'll give everybody some time to join in. Um, as always, very excited to continue to offer these live webinar series. This has been so much fun, and this one will be really fun, I think. Um, so I hope you all enjoy this. Um, so here a little bit early, so we'll kind of let everybody kind of get in. Um, got this table set up in front of me so that I can show you some of the items and show you all these different things. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but um, I want to make sure everybody gets in before I kind of get rolling. Um, hope everybody's doing well. It's been kind of a nice weather a uh, couple days. We've had, we're, we're getting back up into you know, the, the high 60s, low 70s, so it's still a great time to get out in the yard and do some gardening if you want to. Um, it's just it's just been really really nice weather. It's been a nice fall transition. We still really haven't even seen the fall leaves come out yet. Starting to kind of change colors here and there. Um, but it's a it's a great time to be out in the yard and of course to start thinking about decorating your home for the holidays. Um, it's an exciting time here at the garden center. The Christmas shop is open. Uh, we couldn't be more excited about um, all that we've been working through for the past uh, really almost two months to get prepared for this. Um, it's an exciting transformation uh, that the stores, that both the stores go through. Um, it's a lot of fun to do. Um, all the employees just really, really love it. Um, and we've been doing it for 75 years here in Hampton Roads. Uh, McDonald Garden Center is uh, 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 one of the best places to come and get your fresh cut greens when they come in in about three or four weeks. Um, and then, uh, you know, lots of uh, other things that you'll be able to see. Hey, Nancy, good to see you. It's my mom. <laughs> um, and, um, and so, you know, and, and we've got an amazing collection of ornaments, themes, um, our lifelike trees, our lighting collection. I think we have one of the most unique collections of lights and ornaments and different things like that. Um, there's so much to see. Oh, it's my daughter, Emma. <laughs> Hello. Um, so I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, we'll get started here in just a minute, but I do want to tell you that the Christmas shop is open. Uh, we've got lots of exciting themes and different interesting ideas going on and lots of decorating tips and tricks and lots of different things that you can do. And of course, it's still a great time to get out in your yard. We are a garden center first and foremost, of course. Um, so it's still a great time to get out there and work on your lawn, work on um, you know planting some pansies, trees and shrubs. It's a great time to plant trees and shrubs. Um, so there's a huge collection of things that you can do. We have an amazing assortment of indoor plants um, that you might want to start thinking about bringing some of your plants inside um, and bringing that nature inside. Um, but of course, we're here to help you with all your decorating for the holidays and we couldn't be more excited. This is going to be really fun. I'm going to go through um, my top five favorite themes. And so what I'm going to do is show you different elements of those themes, hopefully get you really excited to come in and see us. Um, of course, both of our locations here in Virginia Beach uh, on Independence and then of course over at Great Neck um, have so much to offer. Um, and we have over, I think, over 15 different themes this year. So it's really, really exciting to see all the different things come to life. And I want to talk to you about how do you use some of those themes. I think a lot of times um, when people come in and they're like, you know, I don't really have a coastal theme or I don't really have a red and white theme. I've just got my traditional tree that I put up that has a collection of ornaments. I think we all, a lot of us do that. I definitely have my tree that, um, that has just a collection of ornaments that we bought over the years. And so, but I still find a lot of enjoyment coming in, looking at all the different themes and kind of finding different things that I love. Um, and so that's what I did uh, was I walked around, looked at all of our different themes and I picked out my top five th favorite themes. I will tell you as we kind of go through all these different things um, that um, you can go onto our website. Um, our marketing team has created an amazing lookbook of all the different things um, that, uh, that, that you'll see when you come to uh, shop our stores this Christmas and this holiday season. Um, so if you want to go to our website, mcdonaldgardencenter.com backslash Christmas, um, that will show you all of our different uh, Christmas ideas. Of course, you can get there from just the, the main page, um, but it's a great little lookbook that you can go through. It's kind of like an online magazine, um, and you can look at all the different themes and all the different ideas. Um, of course, everybody that's watching out there, say hello. We love to know where you're watching from. Um, and if you're local, we hope to see you this weekend. Uh, the store looks amazing. We've got so many different Christmas ideas um, and different types of thoughts and decorating tips and tricks and lots of deals too. So come in and check those out. All right, let me get started here on my top five favorite themes. So first, I want to talk about um, how do we use themes around our home? Um, and so a lot of us might not have multiple trees. I would say definitely consider that. 
um, look at doing multiple trees in your home. I know that I do a coastal theme um, and I also do kind of a snowy white theme with silvers and, and white. Um, so there's lots and lots of different options out there um, of ways of doing it. It doesn't always have to be on a Christmas tree though. You can do a wreath so you can take um, you know, your, your front door and put a coastal theme on your front door with a couple wreaths. Um, you can do garland on the mantelpiece. So you can take your mantle and turn it into more of a woodland mountain lodge kind of look. I mean, there's so many different themes to choose from. And so if you want to use themes, a small miniature tree, um, I've got one right here that I can kind of show you. So you know, you've got these small little mini trees that you can use around your home. Um, and you can put a small theme on this. And so there's lots of opportunities to do themes or do different themed ideas around your home. Maybe you've got a guest room that you want to decorate. Maybe your kid's room, you do a small tree or um, even some tabletop decor. So turning, uh, I just did a tablescape uh, webinar, which you can go back and watch, of course, on our Facebook page as well as our website. Um, you can go to our webinar page and, and check out all of our past videos. I just did a tablescape. You can do a tablescape in a theme. Um, you can just do a small elements here and there and around your home. So think about your dining room, your living room, you know, your, your family room, um, your kitchen. Kitchen's a great place to do a small theme tree or a small wreath or a garland. Um, so there's lots and lots of opportunities to use all these elements that I'm going to show you in and around your home. Um, so think about all the different possibilities and I'll kind of describe some of those as I go along and show you all the different ideas. But what this is really going to help you do is see all the different things that we have and that we, that we offer at the store. And I really want you to come in and spend some time looking around and checking out all of these different ideas. And so I hope this gets you super inspired to come in and see some of the themes. I'm only going to touch on five, my top five favorite, um, but there's over 15 different themes and there's lifelike trees and there's lights and there's wreaths and garlands and soon there'll be cut greens and cut trees and poinsettias and holiday plants. And so the list goes on and on of all the things that you can do. And so you're going to want to come in and keep checking out everything that we've got um, and, and get those ideas. Take some pictures, take them home, um, kind of think about the different ways that you want to use them in and around your home. So we'll get started with my number five. I'm going to count them down. So my number five uh, theme for this year is boho Christmas chic. So boho is this really kind of cool urban style. You know, you start to think about uh, the urban communities that, that, um, that, you know, have a lot of indoor plants typically, um, have a lot of brick or wood walls. You know, you kind of start to think about that very simplistic, modern style as well. But boho kind of takes us back too. So the first thing I want to show you is, of course, a macrame hanger. Uh, macrame, you know, of course, was super, super popular in the 70s, but that has come back and it's that boho chic style. So you can hang a pot in this with a poinsettia for Christmas, but also with just some greenery, and you can help decorate that boho style. So, but there's lots and lots of elements that we've brought in for Christmas to continue that style. So if you started to transform a living space inside your home into a boho kind of style, um, then we've got some ornaments and decorations that you, can, that you can use in and around your home. So I just loved this little owl. Owls are so popular. Of course, boho, you can have a couple different uh, kind of uh, colors and schemes. So I brought this container in so you can kind of see that boho kind of color uh, with your salmons and reds and oranges and teals and greens and everything's kind of off color. So it's not a true red, a true orange. It's kind of all slightly muted um, and kind of dulled down a little bit. So that's one option. But then of course the beige. Beige color is huge in boho. This kind of beige and off white and whites. And so all of those different colorations. And then you just throw in some fun styles. So this one's got a little small pink, or sorry, a small like kind of pink glittery nose with this little kind of gold crown on top of his head and these great little salmon colored feet. And so this is just a great little tabletop decor. Would look great in a tree, in a wreath or a garland. This is an awesome little tabletop piece. We've also got these great looking stockings. So you can see that kind of color of the feet coming in there a little bit. So that kind of really kind of cool pink stocking. We've got this other white stocking here, which again is kind of in that boho look. You've got that little tool on the top with some pearls inlaid in there. Really cute kind of stocking. And then we've got this beige stocking here too, with again, all that tassel and, and kind of uh, kind of cool look going on. That's kind of that boho style. So, uh, you know, you think of anthropology, you think of those types of things. That's kind of the look that we're going with. You can also throw some natural in there. Natural colors work great. So I grabbed this pick just because I love pine cone picks. This one's got a little bit of glitter on it. Really pretty color pick. You can pop these into a tree. You can do them in your garland. You can just put them on a tabletop. Uh, you can put them in just a vase by itself and kind of, you know, all of these are wired. And so you can move them and change them and manipulate it however you want. But I love bringing some nature into this look. 
And along with that, I've got this really cool magnolia pick. So this is a, actually kind of um, a royal star magnolia is what you would call it in nature, and they grow in this area. And this is a really cool looking little pick. So it's got some that are buds. It's got some that have just a little bit of leaves emerging. So a nice little pick that you can again use in a wreath or a garland or a tree and just brings that kind of, again, that muted white, that kind of beige color into your boho look. So we've got some natural elements. And then of course we've got ornaments too. Love this llama. So we've got this great little llama. Llamas are super, super popular. Let me see if I can get that to an area where you can really see it. So we've got this really cute llama. It's very soft. Great little ornament. Could be a little tabletop piece as well because they do stand up. But llamas are super, super kind of popular in that boho chic look. We've got this great ornament here. Love this ornament with the star and these tassels and just all that fun stuff. So, you know, our theme here at the Independence Store is very kind of uh, in line with that beige and that wood and that natural look. Um, so it's really, really pretty, but all this rope and these kind of wood beads and a star. And then there was another one that had a tree cut out. So another kind of cool look. Now this could just hang in a bathroom. It could hang on a doorknob. Again, you can use these things in so many different ways. So if you're trying to say, well, I can't really use that in my tree. It doesn't really match my, my look. Well, you might have different uses for it. Um, really, really cool. Hang it from a wine bottle. You can do lots and lots of different things with ornaments. In fact, we're going to do a whole webinar on how to use ornaments. Um, and I've got lots and lots of different tips and tricks for that as well. But this would look great just hanging from the center of a wreath, you know, just hanging down in that open space in the middle. But those are really, really cool ornaments. I'm going to try and breeze through some of this because we've got five themes to get through. This is just a kind of a cool wall hanging, kind of brings in more of that kind of brighter coloring that you might see um, in that boho look. So if you've got different looks, this would look great in a tree. You could use it kind of as a garland or just a wall hanging, but really, really neat. Love that kind of color. And here's another one just with kind of slightly different kind of beads and, and uh, kind of almost has like an antique mirror kind of piece in it. These are really cool, kind of different. So it adds a little bit more of that color. And then if you go back to kind of the muted uh, colors, here's another little owl with some twigs coming out for ears, really, really cute sitting on this branch. So we've got some really fun ornaments. I love this star, or sorry, snowflake. Uh, the snowflake, if you can't quite see it, it's got a little kind of brown on the edges, so it kind of brings out that natural tone, that natural color, uh, but it's a really, really nice metal double snowflake, so it's got two layers. You can kind of see that right there. You got a, a snowflake here and a snowflake here and this great rope, so another really nice ornament. Let's see what else I got. Oh. And then this guy is so much fun. This is another owl. Just lots of tassel and, and jewels and just that really pretty coloration on it. So really, really nice uh, little ornament here for your boho look. So, and then of course you can tie it all together with lights. You know, colored lights are just really, really fun if you're, especially if you're going with this kind of uh, colored boho look. These are really cool. These are called tree lights. They're actually uh, micro LED lights. So you can drop these at the top of a tree and it's got all these clusters that come down. So you can see that right there. And of course that boho coloring and you can see that little diagram up here in the corner. It's got a little ring, you put it on top of your tree and these lights just cascade right down the tree. So that's kind of cool, fun way of adding some light uh, to your boho look. So that's a really, really fun theme. Again, you can bring in the natural colors, you can bring in some of those brighter colors, lots and lots of different options there. Um, and again, this is just, you know, that kind of that trending idea of, of boho and the 70s kind of coming back, macrame, love my macrame hangers. They're awesome, these stockings are great, really tie it all together. That owl is awesome. And then of course, if you put a poinsettia in your macrame hanger, you can bring holidays to the boho look for sure. And you've got that really pretty like beige color, um, that kind of white poinsettia look would look awesome in there. So that's my number five is boho Christmas chic. All right, so then on to the next one. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna try and roll through these as fast as I possibly can so that you can see all the different things that I have. It's a huge collection out there. Um, so the next one is Under the Stars. So Under the Stars um, is nothing but stars. So when you come in and look at this theme, there's pretty much nothing but stars in this theme. Um, so we'll start with, you know, I love these blankets. We don't have a ton of blankets, um, but these are really nice throws. This is a really pretty one. It's got all these little gold stars in it. Let's see if you can see that. So it's got all these little tiny gold stars. Super, super soft throw, really pretty. So that's one element. Let me bring my baskets up here so you can see all these different things that we have to offer. 
Got these really pretty gold, glittered, jeweled stars wide open. Really cool. I love these because you can just kind of tuck these into a tree and they just stand out so well. Um, amazing. And again, you could use these just on a door, just as a, as a star on a door. You could use it as a tree topper. So many different options for all of these different things. Um, and so I hope you, you know, the hope, the hope is that you get some inspiration and some ideas on how to use all these different things and elements around your home. So this is a really pretty star. We've got this awesome frosted star that lights up. So you can see the lights there on it. Really pretty. Again, could act as a wreath, could stick it in a tree. It's got a battery pack on the back that you just put your batteries in. It's got a timer setting, but then when you light it, it looks awesome. So this really kind of frosty. This also comes in just a green star. Uh, really, really cool. And then we've got, let me pull that out in a second. I'm not gonna use that yet. I've got more and more stuff here. I got tons of stuff to show you. So hopefully I don't you know, block my screen here too much. But this is a really nice kind of lantern votive. Would be gorgeous with a candle inside, but it's got all these stars, these frosted stars on the outside. Really pretty, so that's another element, a tabletop piece. You could put a little piece of pine in there with a candle, it would look awesome. Uh, we've got this great garland that has nothing but stars. So this is really cool. I think it's six feet, is that what it is? Let's see, uh, 2.7 meters, so yeah, almost nine feet. So, um, so this is really fun, kind of that vintage kind of look, but all of these little dancing stars that come off of it, be great for a tablescape, going down a banister, or use it in a tree, would look awesome. Just wrapping that inside the tree would be really, really cool. You could use it as a ribbon for a package, really nice. Love that little garland, so that's fun. Adds a lot of that star. Here's another one of those glittery stars with a little Christmas tree on the inside. So you can see that. It's got a little white top and then it goes to that champagne color. So this is kind of more in the gold kind of theme. So if you do kind of a gold look, then we've got lots of gold stars and champagne colored stars that would work really, really well. That's why I brought this little tinsel tree. These trees are super, super trendy and super popular. Uh, I'm sure we all kind of remember them from back in the day, um, but they're back and they are super, super popular. And this is that champagne colored one. Really pretty. So we've got that element as well. Let's see, we've got this really cool gold star. Uh, this could be a tree topper, because it's got the tree topper here, but I also will take these sometimes and just stick them in a tree. And you know, you just kind of stick it in there and then it looks like an ornament. It's got all these little gold threads that wrap all the way around it. Really pretty little simple gold star tree topper. Nice, really nice. Let's see what else we've got. I've got some fun ornaments in here. This is just a gold kind of disco ball, but it really brightens up a tree. So using this in a Christmas tree to accent some of your other gold pieces, like that gold star, will look great with it. So you start to pull out all those different gold tones, and that one's kind of fun. And then we've got a smaller one of those gold stars. So we've got this size, this, this size with a tree inside, this size, and then we've got that bigger one. Let's see if I can get that out. So you got lots and lots of different options here for your gold champagne colored glittered stars. They're so much fun. And then, let's see, I've also got some other fun stuff here to show you. We've got this big gold star ornament. Look at that. That is just amazing. That kind of 3D look. Really nice, glittery, lots of fun. Um, and that's $4.99. So I mean, I'm not gonna tell you all the pricing on everything, but that is a great deal for this nice big star. You can put that in a tree, you can put it on a door, you can put it on a tree topper. Um, you can use this for so many different things, but stars, under the stars is a great theme, lots and lots of star things. And then I've got some fun ornaments here to show you. So this is a little star with um, little glitter um, uh, swirling around it with stars and then it's filled with little star glitter. So if you came in and you looked at it real close, you'd see all these little white star glitters in there. I love those with that great little wood accent on the top. Really cute ornament, lots of fun. Let's see what else we got. We got a gold one here. So this is that same kind of idea. It's a, it's a glass ball, glass bobble with gold painted stars on it and little glitter stars filling it up. So lots and lots of fun there. Let's see if we got, I think there was another one that I saw. Oh, there's that star shaped glass ball with, uh, again, the swirl pattern in gold with gold stars and then gold star glitter on the inside. So that one's really cute. Well, let's see what else we got. And then we've got just our great, we always have so many amazing glass balls. And this one's got this really cool gold glittery imprint all the way out on the outside. These just really brighten up a tree. 
and you can add this that kind of brings in that champagne color again so whenever we're looking at our you know different color schemes you always can kind of tie in some colors and so this is kind of that champagne color really pretty one and then I love these these little clusters so we've got all these great little clusters of ornaments um, and you'll see them in a lot of different themes and a lot of different styles and ways this is a gold star and a white star um, but these are just little clusters, three little ornaments grouped together all on one little string so you can hang that. You can always, of course, separate these. These look great in tablescapes, mantles, that kind of thing hanging in there. Um, so this is just a lot of fun. So there's a couple other little uh, star ornaments. And then, of course, when you come in here to the stores, either store, both stores did this. It was a unique idea. We took one of these frosted, really cool stars, and then we took this really neat light set. So kind of that, that, the light set that I just showed you with the multicolored lights, this is a cluster. This is a 640 LED lights. Um, and they're that micro Invisalight LED technology. Really, really cool, super uh, strings. It's got 32 strings. And they're only 6.3 feet long. So these look amazing to kind of add to a tree, have it look like a starburst going through the tree. Ours looks like the star is shooting out from the tree. So really cool idea. Um, but these are a lot of fun. Um, these are 640 LEDs, 6.3 feet long, but you get 32 strands to work with. 32, they all come from a central point, and you get all these little shooting star effects out of it. Really kind of cool, unique um, LED light. And then, of course, we brought the pole stars back this year. These are really neat. So this is a flexible uh, indoor or outdoor. You can use these inside or outside. So these look great hanging from a tree. So if you really love that star idea and you want to do some of it outside, these look great hanging from like a small Japanese maple or dogwood or a crepe myrtle. Just, you know, you can hang these out in the yard. This one's battery operated. So you just turn it on and then you get all these star lights and they twinkle too. So you can, I don't know if you can see that twinkling effect, but they've got this twinkle where every single post that comes out has a twinkling light on either the first, second or third one in. But that one's got 60 LEDs. There are some that have like 300 LEDs. There's some big ones, some medium size, these smaller ones. I love these because they're battery operated, which means I can hang them from somewhere. I can put them up in the top of my tree. It's got a timer function so I can set it and forget it and never have to worry about it. This would look great in a kitchen um, or like I said, outside hanging from um, a, a small tree and put a bunch of them, throw them up in the tree. You got a bunch to throw up in a tree, there you go. So really kind of a cool idea with what is called a pole star. Um, so it's a star kind of idea, but it's on these metal flexible wires. So you can shape it any kind of shape that you want. You could even take each one off and then put a little curve into it. So we can do that to every single one. And then we can just have all this kind of curvy kind of star shooting out of it. So that would be fun. So lots and lots of unique ways of using that for sure. So that's my star theme. That's number four on my list. This year, I absolutely love it. Uh, when you come in, you can't miss it because it's got the big shooting star coming out of the top, and the tree is just loaded with nothing but star ornaments, star garland, uh, and then, of course, all these little tabletop accessories that you can use all around um, and in different areas. That little tree topper. And then, of course, this really cool kind of lantern with the stars frosted in there. So that's a fun one. That's a unique one, new for this year, um, and a whole lot of fun. Love stars. Stars brighten up your day. Um, oh, and I forgot to show you this last thing. I grabbed this last second. This is a, a really cool metal. So it's just a metal frame of a star. I should have taken it out, but um, it is indoor or outdoor. It's warm white. It's got 130 LEDs. And what they're, what's really cool about it is that Invisalight, that micro LED light, but they're really close to each other. So they're only about like half an inch apart. So you got lots and lots of light rather than all that wrapping. Um, it looks really, really cool. You can kind of see at the top there, all those lights are really, really close. It also comes with a very long cord so you can hang it from a ceiling. It's easy to plug in and find a way to plug it in. You could use it as a tree topper. You could use it on the door. Lots and lots of different options. So that's kind of a cool thing that you probably don't see a whole lot of out there. And I thought I'd grab that because it's a star. <laughs> So, all right. All right, so that's my number four, the star theme, under the stars. Lots and lots of stars in that theme. Really cool, lots of fun, lots of ways to use it, kind of more of our gold theme. We always do, you know, kind of a traditional looking theme, a white theme, gold, you know, even the blues are starting to become really popular. We got a really pretty blue theme this year. Um, and then, of course, um, our next one 
let's see what number am I on? So my ne our next one is kind of the traditional kind of fun one. It's called Merry Little Christmas. And the reason I uh, emphasize the little is because it's all about these gnomes. Gnomes are super, super popular. Lots of fun for the kids, but lots of fun for the adults too. So this is just a little sit upon. You can put this in a tree, you can put this on your mantle. Really, really fun. Got lots of different things to show you in this one. It is a very, very fun theme. Like I said, kind of our kids theme. So when I talked about using um, you know, a theme in the kids room, this would be a great one. The kids would love this. Uh, but even in a guest room, which would be fun just for guests that are coming over, but also um, just around the home. I mean, this is a great little tabletop piece that you can put, and there you go. You got your merry little Christmas, you got your gnome uh, look, and there's lots and lots of fun ones here. So I'm gonna show you a lot of these different ones. Let's start with the ornaments first. So I'll hide some of these other things. We'll keep these gnomes here. And then I know you can see the sloth face, so we'll hide that. My daughter's gonna go crazy for that. <laughs> um, but let's start with some of the ornaments. I love these ornaments. These are so much fun. Definitely be uh, adorning my tree this year. Um, these great little gnomes ha holding hands on this great little ball. Love that blue color, that kind of Christmas blue color. Really cute, all these little gnomes holding hands, having fun on Christmas day. And then we've got a bigger one that kind of brings in kind of the look of how you're gonna see kind of a lot of our signage looking this year, that kind of nostalgia, kind of vintage Christmas. Uh, really fun with all the Christmas trees, poinsettia flowers, and all these little gnomes uh, hanging out on there. And gnomes are just so much fun. Uh, you'll see a lot of uh, pictures of gnomes on Pinterest where you can make them using like a tomato cage. We'll, we'll try and knock out some of those as well. Let's see what else we got in here. Here's another ball that's got these fun gnomes on it. So I, I love how it's kind of, almost gives you a little bit of a modern feel too. That's one thing that I will say about our themes this year is I think they really turned out very kind of modern and new and young looking, um, but with a lot of nostalgia in it as well. A lot of vintage, a lot of old world kind of look. Um, I love this guy, this is a Santa gnome with that Santa hat, it's glass, it's gorgeous. Um, really pretty with the markings on the top and the little hands, but also kind of gives you that kind of modern feel to it. Really pretty glass ornament with a little pom-pom on the top of his hat. Lots and lots of fun. So you can see that 360. So that's a fun one, kind of a gnome Santa look. Let's see what else I got. All right, so now we get into some fun ones. This is, and this kind of has that Scandinavian kind of uh, look to it as well. But this is fun because one of the ways that I love to use ornaments is giving them as gifts. And so to an, attach an ornament to a gift wrapping really adds a little different texture to wrapping the gift but also gives the, the, um, the, the recipient of that gift something else to use. You know, they can use it on, on their Christmas tree. This one's cool because it's an ornament, but it's also got a pair of mittens on the inside. So this actually opens up, and then inside are these really cool, uh, kind of really nice looking mittens that'll keep you warm. So this would make a great gift. You could hide these in the tree for the kids, and they find them and they get a pair of mittens. So lots and lots of fun things that you can do with that. That's a really cool one, um, which is why I also brought this one because this is a little gnome sit upon. So a merry little Christmas gnome, and it's got a pair of socks in its hands. So another little add-on gift. So not only do you get this great little plush uh, uh, gnome that you can sit out every Christmas and remember, but you also get a pair of fun socks that have gnomes all over them right there attached to his hand. So lots and lots of fun stuff in this theme. This, I love this ornament. Again, kind of has that bean bag feel, so it's got a weighted bottom but so you could sit that on a table or you can hang it from a tree because it's also an ornament. So that's another fun looking little gnome. Really cute ornament. Let's see what else. Oh, I had to grab this. I thought this was too cute. So this is a gnome on a ladder. I won't take him out of the package, um, but this is a pot percher. So what you do is it's got this little ring here and you can hang it from a pot and then you've got a little gnome kind of holding, hanging off the lantern, hanging off your pot. So I thought of that because again, we're a garden center. And so I think, you know, we've got pots and indoor plants around our home, um, but you could take this and hang it from a little pot and then um, put your poinsettia in there. And you've added a kind of a theme to a small little area. You just take a pot, drop your po poinsettia in it or any kind of other blooming, you know, holiday plant, hydrangeas, cyclamen, orchids, all those different options that you have, or even just a piece of greenery foliage that you have, or, take and put a bunch of cut greens in a pot. And then you hang this from the side and there you go. You just brought that merry little Christmas in your home in a different way. Love this. So of course, in our kids themes, um, uh, <laughs> this is really, really cute. So sloths are super, super popular right now. Very trendy. Kids love them. And this is just a great Santa sloth 
that we kind of popped into this gnome theme as well. And then of course you can add some different elements. I love my picks um, and we'll get to some of those here in a second, but this is that buffalo plaid ornament, really cool. Buffalo plaid is super, super popular. I brought that because I've got this great pick. I love this pick. This one's got all these little snowflakes, but they've all got kind of a buffalo plaid um, um, uh, look to them. So they're really, really unique and they're all kind of just strung on there. So when you shape this out, you can do a lot with this. You can put this into a, a vase, you could put it in with a poinsettia or any other kind of blooming plant, but also just stuck in your tree would be awesome. A couple of these wrapped into a, a wreath would be awesome. That buffalo plaid is super, super popular right now. So that would be a lot of fun. And then of course we have lots and lots of tabletop decor. This is a great little kind of resin um, Santa gnome with pigtails. So I might have to get that one for my daughter because she likes to support uh, the pigtail nation out there. Um, and then of course this natural uh, pick is really, really fun with the berries so you can add some natural look to it as well. So here you can see kind of in front of me this great collection of Merry Little Christmas, all these little gnomes, lots and lots of fun things that you can do. This is a fun theme, kind of traditional, kind of Scandinavian, really, really kind of cool looking, uh, lots and lots of fun with this one. And it's a one of the major themes here at the Garden Center. You're gonna see tons and tons of these gnomes all over the place. They're just hanging out in this theme all over it. Um, and there's lots and lots of little tabletop pieces in there. I love them. Um, and then some picks to support it. The sloth, of course, I love and then these bigger kind of stand-upons, and there's some big ones out there. There's some bigger pieces as well. So that's a really, really fun theme. Uh, you gotta check that one out for sure. That's my number three, Merry Little Christmas, because they're gnomes and they're little. Um, so that's a fun one. All right, we're getting down to it. We got my final two. All right, so there's two left. The next one, of course, we're so close to the Chesapeake Bay. We're so close to water. There's so much water in our lives that it would, we always do a coastal theme. And this year it's bigger and better than ever. Um, we've got so many different coastal looks. So we actually broke this off into about three different themes. Um, but I absolutely love the coastal look. There's lots and lots of options out there that you can use um, in coastal and lots of natural elements as well. So we really kind of broke our, our coastal themes uh, off into kind of more of a glittery, kind of shiny um, a look. We did a kind of a natural look. We've got lots and lots of these octopus ornaments or jellyfish ornaments, I should say, not octopus, um, but jellyfish ornaments. So there's lots and lots of fun things. And then of course, what's really cool about the coastal kind of themes is a lot of us might have coastal decor already in our home. I know that I do a coastal tree with lots of different kind of beach ornaments, lots of shell ornaments, but I just brought this just because it's a little wall hanging. And so we might have a lot of these natural things around our home, a lot of our uh, coastal things, you know, whether they're paintings of local areas, um, whether it's, you know, birds, we've got lots of nautical birds in the area, fish, lots of different looks. So we've got lots and lots of different looks that we can build our kind of coastal theme off of because you probably have some of those elements already in your home. Uh, so let's kind of go through this. I'll start with the picks this time because there's lots of fun picks. Love this kind of corally pick. So this looks like coral. It's blue. We've got also kind of a salmon colored one, uh, but it just looks like coral. It's got little elements of pearl in there, but really, really pretty pick. That one's fun. I love picks. Love using these in different ways, whether it's sticking in a plant um, or in my tree or in a wreath or garland or mantelpiece. Lots and lots of different ways to use this. And you'll see a huge collection of picks this year. Awesome, awesome. And this is also another kind of corally looking one. Uh, it's got this white kind of beige color, really pretty. It's also got some shells attached to it. So you can see those shells. That's a really neat one. And they're all flexible and they're all easy to kind of manipulate and change and kind of shape in different ways. So love that one. So we've got a couple different picks that are really fun to use. And then let's show, um, I haven't shown ribbon yet. Oh, here's one more pick. This is kind of more of that natural look. So you've got this greenery, we've got a little eucalyptus in there, we've got a starfish uh, with a little frost on there, but lots of little kind of grasses and stuff. So that's a fun little pick again. Put two or three of these in a wreath, you could really get that coastal look very quickly, very easily. Lots of fun, so that's a fun one. So we've got some natural looking as well. Um, I, I haven't talked about ribbon. Ribbon, we have a huge collection of ribbon. We tie our own custom bows, so if you want us to make a bow for you, I'm gonna do a whole webinar on using ribbon in and around the home um, and how to use them and how to make bows and all that fun stuff. So we've got lots of ribbon to support any of these themes. I mean, I didn't talk about it in the other ones, but there's plenty of ribbon to support those. Um, I love this burlap. I don't know if you can quite see it on the camera, but this burlap ribbon has a white edge 
which looks great in a coastal theme. We have uh, this ribbon used in one of our trees. It's really pretty. Ribbon is awesome. And um, if you uh, watch my webinar on how to use ribbon, I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to use it. Um, that makes it super, super simple in your trees, in your garlands, in your wreath, in your tablescapes, all that fun stuff. And then we've got some glitzy kind of glamorous ribbon. This one's really pretty. It's got that teal. It's a more of a teal ribbon with kind of the lime green and the coral colored um, coral and different elements. And um, it's got some jewels in there as well. So this is a really, really nice, really, really high end ribbon, really pretty. So that one's nice. So we've got some ribbon to support this theme as well. Um, we've got lots and lots of tabletop pieces. So this is a starfish tree. So it's a Christmas tree with stacked starfish ranging from big all the way to small with a little starfish tree topper. And then again, it's in that really pretty kind of muted colors. We've got teal kind of blue with the salmon kind of pink color and then that off white color as well. So lots and lots of choices there. Love tabletop pieces because you can just put these on a tabletop and you've got yourself a little coastal look right there. Um, we've got a Santa, a nautical Santa. He's holding a life preserver there. And then he's got some binoculars that he's looking out into the water with. So if you collect Santas or you've got lots of Santas around your home, this is a great tabletop piece. He's got coral decoration around his, um, around his, uh, the bottom of his jacket here. Really, really nice looking Santa. Lots and lots of Santas out there. Brought this because that kind of brings out that kind of teal color, that ornament. That's an ornament so that can hang like that. Looks like coral. Really, really fun. You can kind of shape it a little bit. I wouldn't do too much. Some of them are, are more on the foam side, so you don't want to uh, manipulate them too much. But that's a really cool one. Really brings out some of that color. Um, so we've got that. Uh, let's see. Let's keep going on the ornament path. So many coastal ornaments. I mean, our trees are filled with them. Our walls are filled with them. There's a lot, a lot of choices. So this is a stingray, of course really cool so that one's kind of got all these jewel tones it's a nice little tail sticking out there it looks really really fun so that's kind of a cool one let's see what else we got oh this is really pretty so this is a glass ball ornament and it's got it's kind of a bell actually so it's got a hollow bottom here so i can stick my finger in there but it kind of makes a little bit of a bell sound because in there is a little sea turtle hanging in there. And then it's got all this coral decoration and glitter all the way around the outside. So many fun coastal ornaments, I love them all. Every year we buy crabs and every year we buy a new crab ornament for our tree. So that's a really pretty crab ornament, kind of in that uh, almost sea glass kind of color. Really pretty with some glitter on the outside and the eyes and just, you know, if you live in this area, you definitely probably love crabs and love to collect crabs. This is a really pretty new ornament this year. Let's see, we've got seahorses. So we've got another seahorse here in that kind of pinky corally color. Like I said, we've got a lot of that jewel toned um, or um, uh, that coral color teals mixed in with our ornaments this year. Let's see, I mentioned Santas. Here's a really pretty Christmas Santa with a really cool look because it's kind of hollow it's, or it's, it's just clear glass here in the center. And on the inside, there's this kind of um, underwater scene in there where you can see all the coral. It's got a little pearl in there. It's got a starfish on the inside, got a little shell. So that's a fun Santa with his little tree. Um, and then lots of snow and glitter and that kind of really teal kind of blue color. Love that. I probably shouldn't go through all of these because there's so many to go through this King Neptune. So that's a cool one. As we all know here in Virginia Beach, King Neptune statue. So that's a nice one. We've got the jellyfish, we got lots and lots of jellyfish. These are so much fun because they hang throughout the tree and they have lots of sheen and, and color and different looks. So it's got all these really pretty ribbons. I don't know if you can quite see it on the screen, but some of the ribbons almost have a teal color. Some of them have pink. They almost change color throughout. They've got all these pearl strands coming down. So really, really fun jellyfish ornaments. We've got lots and lots of jellyfish uh, to choose from. Grab, grab this because this is kind of that classic color, really pretty blue with the white coral glitter all the way around it. Love that one. Back to the Santas. So here's a Santa, kind of a fun one. So we've got lots of, of beach kind of fun stuff. Um, I meant to grab, I got this little house that looks super, super cute for a tabletop piece, um, but I forgot to grab that. This, this Santa's got a drink in his hand and a surfboard in the other hand. So he's ready to relax on the beach. Looks like it's a couple days after Christmas and he's relaxing uh, down at the beach. So that's a fun one. 
Love these, the ornaments with all those little tiny little shell all the way through it. So if you're looking for more of that natural kind of beach look, this is a really pretty one. What else we got in here? So many ornaments. Love this guy, this kind of squid look with that blue. Really pretty. Of course, another crab. This one's a very realistic looking crab, so it kind of would go great in the natural look, but anywhere. You know, that's just a, a straight up blue crab, as we know in this area, really nice looking crab. Uh, hangs really well, so we kind of hang straight on rather than upside down. But if you hung them, it would look kind of like that. So really nice kind of, you know, shiny kind of really pretty glass ornament there. This is a fun little ornament. This is a bunch of sand dollars stacked on top of each other to make a tree. I don't know if you can quite see that, but it's got a little starfish on the top. So that's fun. Starfish are so much fun. My wife collects a lot of these starfish and uses them all over the place. This is kind of a glitzy kind of glass uh, ceramic uh, starfish ornament. Super, super simple, crisp and clean. We've got another sand dollar wreath. So this is a cute little one. It's a little sand dollar wreath. Bunch of sand dollars lined up for a wreath and then a starfish on the top. So that's a fun one. And then we've got another tabletop piece. Love this. Kind of that natural color, but with a little bit of glitz. It's got ornaments already in it. So again, you know, in the bathroom, uh, in a smaller place on the kitchen windowsill, you can bring yourself a nice little coastal look, coastal feel, thinking about your coastal Christmas. It's got shells, it's got silver and green uh, glass balls in there. So that's a lot of fun. Just as a great little kind of tabletop piece. What else do I have? Oh, and then my hermit crab. There's a really pretty hermit crab, really kind of glitzy with that jewel tone. Uh, it's got some blue and some salmon color, the pink. And then it's got some uh, pearls on it as well and lots of glitter. So that's kind of a fun hermit crab. And then I think I might have gotten through most of it. And like I mentioned, a lot of us probably have some pieces that we've used all, all, all around our, our home year round. And that's what I love about the coastal theme is we have it here year round. We're always adding different elements and pieces to it. But also um, you can bring those into your Christmas look. Um, this might be a garland that you might have year round. You know, you might just have this hanging. It could be a wall hanging. Um, I didn't quite open this one up, but it actually is longer than this. Um, so it hangs down. It's got all these different types of seashells in it and driftwood. So it's got that really natural look. You could put this in a small tree. You could get multiple pieces of it and wrap it throughout your tree. So it looks like a garland throughout the tree. So this is really cool and an element that you can use year round. Um, I definitely love this bowl. I actually bought this bowl for my wife for her birthday. Um, so I don't know if you can quite see it there. Let's see if I can get it with a, you now it's hard to see because it's see-through, but it's got starfish and seashells and all these different shells all the way around it with this really open habit. So this is an everyday kind of bowl. You can put some sea glass in it. You could put um, a bunch of ornaments in it, which would be really pretty during Christmas time. Maybe throw some of those lights. If you didn't see my tablescape uh, video, I did this really cool thing where you just take a glass bowl, throw in some cheapy lights that are battery operated. We have lots of them. They're really easy to use. And then throw in a, a group of, of, of glass balls or, or plastic uh, ornaments and just fill it up with that with some lights dancing in there. You could turn an everyday piece like this really cool white bowl, this uh, beach bowl, um, and you could turn it into a Christmas look very easily with your already um, the, already, you know, your decorated pieces around your home that you're using for a coastal look already. So there's lots and lots of things to choose. Coastal is always one of our most popular themes. We have a huge collection of it this year. Um, and this is just a small assortment of all the different things that we have this year. Love those jellyfish. Lots and lots of great tabletop pieces. Oh, love that starfish. So we're just gonna pack this stuff back up so I can do my final 2020 Christmas look. Lots of fun picks. Love that. I didn't even realize that was a little bell until I brought it out to show you. Hermit crab. But be careful, a lot of these are glass. I don't wanna break them. You got that fun stingray. All right, we got our crabs. Lots of different crabs to choose from. Love these picks. Use your regular, you know, all your decorations, your everyday uh, indoor decor um, that you have already. If you've got a coastal look, great. Um, and so you can just add to it with a couple different things to kind of bring that Christmas look. So you got that everyday kind of fish wall hanging, the sailboats. You can add a little Christmas look to it very, very easily. So we'll put this off to the side here.
And as I mentioned, the small trees are great. I absolutely love all these little small trees. We've got a great collection of little indoor trees that you can use to decorate your home. And I could put just like, you know, 10, 15 uh, seashell ornaments on there. Um, and then I would have a amazing kind of coastal look right there, whether it's in my kitchen or it's in my dining room on a sideboard or a table. Uh, these little trees are awesome. There's flocked ones, there's green ones, uh, there's lots of choices, there's pre-lit little trees. Um, so there's lots and lots of little options to be able to kind of scatter these throughout the home and, and do a different theme somewhere else. And then every year you can always add to that collection. Okay, so we're down to the grand finale. My final number one theme for this year um, is going to be, let me get it out here. It's gonna be nature's gift. Nature's gift, of course, I love nature. I love natural beauty. There's so much out there to see. Um, and then, of course, so many natural elements around our home that we can use for the holidays. I love the fresh cut greens. And then, of course, that kind of greenhouse feel. And so I grabbed this theme because it is definitely the one that speaks to me probably the most. Obviously, I love working here at the Garden Center. I love working in my yard. I love nature. I love natural elements and pieces. And so I wanted to show you some of these um, that we have for this year for this new theme. So this is called Nature's Gift. It's one of our main themes this year. It's very, very cool. I'll start with these kind of picks. Um, love picks, as I've mentioned multiple times. There's so many different choices. This is kind of like a little frosted spruce uh, pick. Really kind of natural looking. Love that green color. Of course, the pine cones. Again, there's lots and lots of different types of pine cone picks out there. Love how they're all flexible. You can manipulate and change them very easily. Kind of looks like a natural stick and then it's frosted with glitter. So you've got that. I used this in my tablescape the other day. I'm absolutely in love with this pick. It is so cool. It is super, super long. So it's got, you know, the pick kind of part. That's why we call them picks is because you can pick them into something. But then it's this frosty fern and it hangs down and it's super frosty. It's a bunch of fern leaves, a bunch of fern fronds. Um, and they're all frosted with glitter and snow. And so this is great because it's so long, you can use it in so many different ways. It is absolutely awesome. Uh, I used it in my tablescape. I'm probably gonna get some and use it in my home for sure this year, I love it. Just love all these little elements of nature. And so this is kind of like a little garland. It's got all these little branches uh, wrapped around it. Really kind of cool, kind of a frosted, almost fern, but I believe it's a little piece of spruce, a little conifer piece um, in there. And so it's just cool because it's very open. Uh, which is great on a mantle. You can hang it down over your mantle if you've got a smaller mantle, um, or you could make, uh, you could wrap this into a garland, show off that branch, that kind of brown color branch. Lots of different things. You can hang it from a chandelier. You can do so many different things with this little piece. Love this little piece of garland. So that's a fun one. Of course, you know, we think about Christmas and we think about nature and magnolia always comes to my mind. Uh, this is a really nice magnolia pick, very soft on the inside really well done uh, magnolia pick. So that's really pretty. I don't know if you can quite see that very well. We got a lot of natural light coming in over here off this window. Um, and so, but this magnolia is great. It's got the brown back, really natural looking. You can manipulate and change this, stick it into a tree, use it in a vase, lots of different applications for this, even just laying on a table with some fresh natural stuff around it. And of course, if you have a magnolia around your home, great. Then you can use all those blooms um, and that, that the leaf uh, foliage as they continue to kind of do that throughout the season. Um, and then we've got this great frosted pick. Love this, kind of that minty green. And you're gonna see a lot of that green. That's why I love this theme. Lots and lots of green. So it's really kind of a, a white theme, but lots of green, lots of natural colors, lots of pine cones, lots of nature in it. Um, and I really thought that kind of emulated this whole kind of color concept of that kind of minty green with a lot of frost in it. So that's really a pretty one. And then I love this garland. I just grabbed this because I thought it was kind of cool looking. It looks very realistic. Got a lot of glitter in it as well, lots of frost, but just kind of a different look. Again, that kind of different green. You don't see it very often, but that's a fun little garland. Let's see, how long is that? That is six feet. So it's six feet of garland. Really pretty, very modern, very simple. So I really liked that one as well. While I've got it here, we've got lots of soaps and scents and different things. and. Um, uh, lots of different smells and things that you can use for the Christmas season. This is spruce. So this is a Michelle Designs spruce. Um, and this is dish soap as well as hand soap. Love these. So this one, 
has a great fragrance to it. It's called spruce, so it kind of goes with our natural collection. It's got pine cones and, and little uh, birds on it and some holly berries and juniper berries, but that's a really pretty, uh, pretty package, but also makes a great gift, great for that smell around the home um, and lots and lots of different things there. All right, so then of course we've got um, some ornaments to show you and some tabletop pieces. I absolutely love this ornament. This is a small little white ornament. You probably can't quite see it, but it's got holly berries, it's got uh, little packages, it's got birds, it's got little spruce, it's got a lot of different things on it, and they're just kind of all, kind of little tiny images all over this ornament. Really cool looking ornament. Kind of that vintage look, but very natural. Love that. I saw this last second too and had to grab it. Uh, love this kind of picture frame ornament with a uh, little tree wrapped in burlap at the base, and then it just says joy right down here. Nice and simple, really kind of a cool looking ornament. This could hang from a window, uh, could be a, a sun catcher, uh, great in the tree, lots and lots of different ways to use that one. So that's a really pretty ornament. We've got some tabletop pieces as well. So if you collect snowmen, I haven't showed you any snowmen, we have a whole theme on snowmen this year. It's called Snowing Snowmen. But this is nature's gift, and this snowman has a little bunch of spruce and conifer with a little couple pine cones and a little tree cut out of wood that says joy on it. And it's just a great kind of natural looking snowman. So lots and lots of tabletop pieces in all of this. Again, I love these tinsel trees and this kind of brought out that kind of minty green color as well. Love that with the glitter in it. So that one turned out really pretty. And then we've got some other natural components. This one is a ornament with a little owl sitting in it. Really nice, got a little piece of spruce up there. So, you know, we could turn our um, uh, owl around, got a little piece of spruce, great little kind of wreath looking uh, ornament, fun. Love my leaves and I love these clusters of ornaments. This is my favorite. This is definitely one that I'm getting this year. So it's got these three ornaments hanging from it um, and they're all these leaves and they're kind of in that eucalyptus, almost green, bluish color with lots of glitter, really fun ornament. You hang it like that and it looks like a grouping of three leaves. Just like that, really nice, very natural looking, really cool. Brought this little wreath so you can see it matches this garland over here that I showed you earlier. So we've got this really co cool garland, but we've got this little miniature wreath. Love little tiny wreaths. They're lots of fun to use. You can put it down on the table, have a candle coming up through it. You can put it around your snowman. So you can put your snowman in there like that. Lots and lots of uses of these little tiny wreaths. And this one's really kind of natural looking and fun. And lots of uses for that around the home. Let's see if I can Keep going here. I love pine cones. Absolutely love pine cones. Glass pine cones, silver mercury glass pine cones. Um, this one's a green pine cone with frosted edges to it. So you see the green coming through it, but it's got lots of frosting on it as well. That's a really pretty one. I love that. There's a lot of these too. So again, to kind of bring out that unique kind of coloration, this is really cool. This is kind of like a finial. Um, really nice ornament. Really pretty with that kind of teal green color with the kind of darker antique look. Love the kind of top on it as well. So that's kind of a big ornament. Again, you can hang this from a chandelier if it fits into your theme. A lighting element, you could put this in your tree. Lots of these would really show up well on a tree. And there is another one, really pretty. And these are heavy duty, these are glass. Kind of in that mercury glass kind of feel. Love that kind of antique top. Looks really, really nice. Looks really, really rich, high end looking. And then that minty color that I absolutely love in this look because it's everywhere and there's so many different shades of green and that's why I just love this look and a lot of it natural. Of course I'm going to have to get one of these. This is a greenhouse so it's kind of a greenhouse look and then it's got some shovels, it's got a little Christmas tree, it's got a little uh, trellis on the outside with some cardinals on it. I love to just look at the detail on these things. Uh, there's so many ornaments with lots of little details that you don't recognize maybe at first when you're kind of going through it real quick. So definitely take some time, come back, check us out. Here's another fun one, that kind of cluster. So it's got two pine cones, mercury glass green with this wood uh, accent on the top. Really nice little ornament. You get two of them um, in that little cluster. That's really cool. Adds that natural look. Let's see, I think, oh, the mistletoe. This is really cute too. So this is kind of a frosted mistletoe. Again, just that minty green, the different green colors. There's just so many different greens here. Lots and lots of fun. I grabbed this little garland too. Kind of that modern looking garland. Let's see if I can get this thing apart here. I knew I was gonna tangle this one up when I did it because I just kind of folded them up and put them in there. But let's see, there we go. 
So this is really cool. This is kind of an olive branch is what it really looks like to me is more of a, an olive look. Uh, it's like, but again, that natural color, really small little leaves with little white berry accents to it. I just love these really, really spaced out things because that's what nature really gives us is this kind of sparsy kind of spaced out look brings that winter element. And then I love the fact that it's kind of wood on the inside and got that brown kind of bark color, but that would be really pretty. Lots and lots of uses for that. So another really fun garland. And then I think we've got a couple more. Here's a greenhouse. This is a really nice little greenhouse. And so this is a rectangular greenhouse rather than that hexagon shape before. Same thing, got some trowels, got some Christmas trees, got some blooming, uh, looks like daffodils in there, a little tool bag, really fun little greenhouse. So that's another fun ornament. Couple more here, let's see what we got. So last, well, of course, tabletop pieces. Birds fit well into this natural theme. A little tabletop bird that you can just put again to bring that theme to life. You know, you could set that next to your little miniature tree. You know, you got this little tree. We could set a little bird next to it. And then you've got a nice little kind of theme right there going. And you can start to build on it throughout the years. Uh, we always have some natural elements for sure here at the garden center. Um, and then this is a really pretty ball ornament with this glittered leaf pattern on the on the front. So another fun, you know, great look. Lots of really pretty elements to this theme. That's why it's my number one theme, Nature's Gift. Brand new for this year. You got to come in and check it out. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, we have this great backdrop that looks like you're in a greenhouse. Um, lots of elements. We've got fountains in some. We've got different looks here and there. Some of them we broke up into a couple different themes, so you get a couple different looks. Love the magnolia, the pine cones, the the mistletoe, uh, the frosty ferns, the garlands, the tinsel trees. There's so many things to talk about, so many ways to decorate your home. So we definitely want you to come in, check us out here at the garden center. The Christmas shop is open. So many different looks to use and so many different ways to use these themes around your home. I can't stress that enough about how cool it is to start adding onto your Christmas look around your home. Um, and start thinking about, okay, my dining room is more elegant. Maybe I want it to have more of a gold theme. So some of the stars might come into play. You know, I've got a living room that maybe I've got more of the lodge kind of feel. We've got a mountain lodge look this year. There's so many different things to choose from, so many different themes. I could go on forever and ever, but I'll stop here. I did my number five, my, my, my top five. My number one is nature's gift. You gotta come in and check it out and all the different things. Um, so come in and see here, see here at McDonald Garden Center. It's our open house weekend. You gotta come in and check us out. We've extended the date, so we've extended our open house specials through Monday and Tuesday. So you've actually got a couple more days. So if you can't make it this weekend, maybe you got some plans, then come out and see us uh, at the beginning of next week. And of course, Christmas has just started here. We have just started. We just finished up our main uh, uh, greenhouses um, and our looks and our themes for the looks for this year. Uh, but the decorating hasn't stopped. We're adding lights every day to our outdoor areas. We're gonna get our fresh cut greens, our fresh cut trees in, probably in about three weeks. Usually they come in right before Thanksgiving. So we got lots of fresh greens coming in. We've got plants, poinsettias, you know, all of our Christmas cactus and, and cyclamen and hydrangeas and all these different options that you can bring inside your home. Jasmine, all those fun things. Lots and lots of different uh, uh, indoor plants that you can use. We have a huge collection of plants right now. We're a garden center first and foremost, so we've got lots and lots of plants to choose from. It's gonna be a gorgeous weekend. Get out there and plant something if you have time. Uh, get out there and mow your grass, fertilize, any of those things that you need to do. But again, definitely come in and check us out. Our Christmas shop is open and the collections are amazing this year. We've got great deals on lifelike trees, lights, ornaments, all that stuff, wreaths and garlands. So much to choose from to decorate your home for the holidays. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm super inspired. Um, I'm ready to go home and we need to still take down the Halloween decorations. Take that down, do a little bit of Thanksgiving, a little bit of fall here and there, but start decorating for Christmas. Uh, we're gonna be spending a lot of time at home this Christmas, so let's, uh, let's decorate our homes and, and have a lot of fun doing it and make us a lot uh, very cheery and bright. Um, so I hope you all have a great day. Um, I don't think I see any questions. I'll come over there and check. Uh, if I do have any questions, I'll answer them uh, once I uh, log off. But other than that, have a great day. Come in and see us. Get inspired. Have fun. I'll see you all next week. We're going to keep doing these decorating tips all the way to Christmas. So keep checking us out here at McDonald Garden Center. Have a great day, everybody.